happy football team in there. And I want to credit our coaching staff for a great game plan and for their preparation. I thought we practiced well all week. Uh, you can tell today in the hotel that our guys were locked in, ready to go. The leadership on this football team has been phenomenal all camp, and uh, I want to credit those guys. Uh, I think Steve Esme did an excellent job of managing the game tonight, although we made some mistakes really early. Uh, Joe Burrows kept us cool, and we were able to score 33 points. Also, really pleased with the defense, obviously. And, uh, we're, a little disappointed with the last two long balls. We're going to get that fixed, but there's a lot of good things there. This was a very good football team. I thought their receivers were very, very good. So for us to hold them that 17 points was a, was a good feat. Really proud of special teams. A goal, Tracy, 4 a 54-yard field goal, tied a school record. I thought we were solid, solid in the uh, special teams. Uh, on the uh, kickoff return, we should have fair catched it. Uh, we made a mistake there, and it's uh, something we can improve on. There's a lot of things that we can improve on, which we will. Uh, I told the team that uh, we're going to enjoy this win. We're going to go back and prepare just like we did this week for next week's poll. All right. Thank you, Coach. Let's go to questions. Remember, let's wait for the microphone to come to you for the benefit of our stenographer listening in. State name and affiliation. We'll go here on the left side. Hey, Coach. Shock to say WABTV in Baton Rouge. Uh, Nick Brosset is yep. as patient as he was all these years and finally yep. has his night up. You know, look at uh, the history, Deion Jones, Duke Riley, now Nick Brissett. We saw the camp. I felt he was almost physical back. I'll tell you all that. I felt that he was going to have a good night, and uh, he did. And I'm proud of Nick. Nick was uh, one of our team captains for the game. He's been tremendous all camp, and uh, I think that he's going to have an excellent season. Other questions for Coach? Okay, and Coach is left, first row. How would you uh, grade Joe Burrow's first start? Yeah, I think he did great. You know, he just, uh, Managing the game, won the game, we scored 33 points. Obviously, there's a lot of things to fix. He was under the rush. I uh, had to call a couple of timeouts early. We weren't prepared for that. I'll take the blame for that, get him, get him better prepared. But I thought he, he, he kept his poise. Same, same thing with Saul Kemp, and uh, he was able to get a win. We want to know, and that's what comes. Let's move to the right in the middle. Ross Gallagher, as I. Ed, you, you went through camp. You had some suspensions. You had some transfers. Yeah. How gratifying more is this after seeing all that and seeing the predictions yeah. and things like that? Yeah, you know, well, we can see it in camp that our team came together when those things happened to us. Uh, as you heard me say a lot of times, we block out the noise. I think the team meetings that we had, the leadership meetings that we had. Uh, again, I want to credit the leadership on this football team. They came together. I think all those things made us closer. We had a choice, and the choice was for it to make us closer, and it did. We'll stay on the right side here. Uh, Shay Dixon on 24 7 Sports. Uh, do you have any update on Adrian McGee and Chase Song? Yeah, not yet. Not yet. I, I don't know exactly what it is, but uh, it looked pretty severe. In the front row, and coaches are left. Uh, Brooks Camino, the advocate, uh, you know, one of the first top 10 victories you guys have had in several years. I mean, what does this mean in, in your tenure, and what does it mean personally to you, but also to the program? Yeah, it's never about me, it's about the Tigers. And, uh, and we just viewed it as uh, we are playing the University of Miami. And that was an opening game, we wanted to be 1-0. That's all it was about. Okay, you're on the right. Uh, James Brandon, Tiger Rag. And what did you see from Jacob Phillips tonight? It seemed like he was kind of a difference maker in his first start. Yo, know, uh, I'm really proud of Jacob. He's matured. He was the number one linebacker two years ago coming out in the country. Uh, he's gotten better. Uh, he's blitzing. I know he's going to be mad that he had the face mask. I think that uh, he's going to be a really good player for us. We'll swing back to the left. Coach uh, Cole Tracy, you know, people kicking at Division II school, a lot of people wondered how he'd do on a stage like this. And he gave you the lead early on. What an easy kick. I mean, what did that mean to get the lead in, in the job he did? Confidence. You know, we had confidence in Cole. But, and we've seen the same thing in practice. But obviously, he had to do it in the game. And he did it. Uh, we believe in Cole. And uh, I wish I had him for more than one year. <laughs> Still in the back in front.